So Tony, welcome to uh, our brand new home. Just talk me through your first impressions of the factory. Uh, well, it really looks like a real F1 team, what we've done so far. Not that we weren't before, but it's just the size, the ability to have more space and do a lot of things that we weren't, be able, to do, weren't able to do at Hingham. And the feel, I think people are very, very happy here. It's a wonderful feeling. My mind's been running over time on all the things that we can do here. Um, and I'm, I'm thrilled, I I'm, you know, might live up here. And just try and describe to me um, what, what, the, what the atmosphere is like. You said it's positive, but um, you know, you've been around, you've spoken to John Eyre, you've seen Mark Smith. What's, what's the feeling in the, in the team? Well, these are guys who don't generally give much emotion away. But um, even you know, um, our Grim Reaper, Steve Nielsen, uh, has been so bullish and, and so upbeat and very excited. He sent me some tweets, not tweets, some BB messages when they first moved in. And I now see why. The potential of this place is enormous. I mean, you know, Tom Walkinshaw did a fantastic thing, and it's, it's a shame that his vision uh, hasn't, didn't carry on, and hopefully we at Caterham will be able to uh, carry on that vision. We had a great group meeting today, which talked about cars and the technology parts, and obviously the F1 team, and the final meeting was great, putting it all together, and I think soon we'll have a, a unified branding team and com communications team. So, uh, yeah, the future looks good. And we haven't actually spoken for a little while, so just give me a bit of a, an update on, on where you're at with the team and how you're feeling the first half of the season has gone. Well, I mean, you know, if I'm honest, we're a bit disappointed. But if I'm real, we've done an amazing job. You know, if you look at how far we are ahead of HRT and Virgin. But, you know, we, we're, we're in no man's land. We're not quite quick enough to be in the midfield and we're far ahead of the other new teams. Um, the meeting today was really focusing on how we're going to get to that midfield, whether we can achieve it this year. It looks tough, but um, let's see. But I have no doubt we will achieve it in the immediate future. Um, so the first half has been good, but uh, you know some great days, some great times that we were able to, to get into Q2, but uh, not quite enough. So aims for the second half then, positively? <laughs> I've been in this business now too long to make any real predictions, but you know, I think we'll just keep chipping away. It's not easy to get half a second. Uh, it's not easy to get one tenth. Um, so we'll just have to chip away and, and see where we get to. The boys know what they have to do. It's not. It's not that we don't know. So anyway, um, yeah. I mean, I'm, you know, let, let's see. But we've got everything in place now. I think to be a successful F1 team.